It's easy to add to Live Binders while you browse. When you find a site that you want to save, you just click on the Live Binder Edit button up in your browser toolbar. This dialog box will pop up and you'll see there's a default name already entered for you. You can also add a comment or a note if you want. And you can add this to an existing binder. The binder you've been working on most recently is the one that's shown, but all of your binders are here in this drop-down. It will automatically create a new tab, but you can also put it into a sub-tab of an existing binder if you want. But for this example, I'm going to create a new binder. I'm going to call this STEM Sites, and I'm going to make it public, and I'm going to type a description so that it's easy to find again. I'm going to add it to the Education category, and then I click on Add to New Binder. LifeBinders does a 10-second test to make sure that the site will sit in a binder. And at this point, I can just close the window and go back to browsing more sites. I'm going to click on this binder icon so that you can see my new binder. And here's my new binder with STEM Collaborative in the very first tab. So from here, I can do some editing in this binder, like Add a New Tab. I could upload a file from my own computer here if I wanted to, or I can just close the binder and go back to browsing. And that's it. It's basically one button binder building.